All right. All aboard for the perfect pandemic getaway. Rented houseboats giving vacationers a chance to get away this summer while maintaining a safe social distance. Joining us now on the phone from Rainy Lake House Boats in International Falls, Minnesota, Tom Doherty. Tom, great to have you. Um, I want to ask you what's happened with houseboat demand here. This seems like a great way to socially distance and to have some fun. Um, have you seen a spike in rentals? Well, absolutely. We sure have. And uh, you know, a long time ago in 1959, uh, houseboating got its start right here on Rainy Lake. And uh, right from that point in time, it's uh, been a social distancing experience for everybody. And uh, we'd like to say that it was actually invented up here. Let me ask you this. I, you know, I don't know what the average stay on a houseboat would be. I'm guessing maybe a couple of weeks if a family has vacation. But has anybody come and said, we'll rent the houseboat for a year? Uh, we haven't had that yet, but you never know. Uh, every, this year, as we all know, is a little bit different. Um, we've seen uh, numerous family uh, units coming uh, from, you know, primarily Minnesota and the Midwest, but we've seen folks coming uh, from throughout the country as well. Uh, just recently, we had a father-daughter trip uh, with a, 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 a two individuals from New Orleans uh, that went out and had a great time. I even helped them tie up... Uh, at one of their first spots, and uh, the gentleman was just elated that I happened to be there to offer a hand at that time. Uh, but we've, we've experienced an uptick in business. People yeah. want to get away. They want to social distance and get out and be amongst their, their family members and enjoy the solitude and uh, the wilderness setting that Rainy Lake and Boykers National Park has to offer. Yeah, I mean, we are looking at the pictures, and they certainly are beautiful. It seems really serene and, and a wonderful way to spend some vacation time. Um, but in between rentals, I'm wondering how difficult it's been for you uh, to upkeep these boats to make sure that you can sanitize them, making sure that the next user has a completely, you know, clean, fresh space to be in. How is that working? It's working really good. It's actually a, a Minnesota night nice story. Um, uh, early on, uh, my brother and I, this is a family-run operation, uh, we started discussing what we might need to do, and uh, we reached out to some folks that worked in the airline industry, and they directed us to a company called uh, Victory Innovations, uh, which is right here in Minnesota. And, you know, at the time, just like trying to find hand sanitizer or toilet paper, for that matter, uh, during the pandemic, it was very difficult to find this equipment. And through uh, kind of some backdoor channels on uh, LinkedIn and a couple other avenues, I was able to get in touch with the owner of that company, uh, Kyle Wheaton. And we had a, you know, a mutual connection on LinkedIn. And I told him our story. And he went to work and he found us some equipment. And uh, oh, then we that's found great. some chemical. Yeah, so we sanitize them before the guests get on. Uh, then we sanitize them right after the guests get off before our help goes on. Uh, to uh, clean the boats and get them ready for the next group. Then they're sanitized again before they go out. Well, Tom, this was really uplifting talking to you. We've been talking to a lot of business owners, obviously, that have been struggling, but it sounds like, you know, you've seen a boost in business. That's always a good thing, and we will make sure that we check in with you again. Thank you so much.